Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing two pairs of Chanel shoes. These were definitely unexpected purchases. I went into David Jones in the city just to browse their new shoe floor. So David Jones is a department store here in Australia where I usually get my Valentino shoes on sale. They're quite similar to Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom, but they do have quite limited amount of designer things. But they have moved a step forward and put in a whole new floor in the city store. And this women's shoe floor now has Chanel shoes in its own little boutique, Louis Vuitton shoes, Gucci, a lot of these international designer brands are in there now and this is specifically shoes only but I love shoes so I went in to check out this new renovated floor and I'll insert a little footage here because it is relatively new and maybe some of my fellow Aussie luxury lovers might want a sneak peek if you haven't been already it was beautifully done so each boutique feels like you're still in that boutique exclusively but as you guys know the really good thing about shopping luxury at these department stores if possible is that they have really good returns and exchange policies. So if you change your mind, it is a lot easier to return or exchange. And they usually have longer periods of time for you to do that as well. I'm not 100% sure whether I should keep them both or not. So I'd love your opinion on this because I'm really not sure what I should do. I mean, I love them both, but I just want to know whether I could really justify keeping them both because I picked up two pairs of shoes that are exactly the same just in two different colors. So I'm thinking maybe I should just return one of them and exchange for a different style so I have two different options to go for. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get into the unboxing. So I actually picked up these two shoes from different boutiques. One of them, the first one that I'm gonna show you, I picked up from the Bondi boutique and the other one I actually got from the David Jones and I'll go into a little backstory on each purchase soon. So let me get started on the first pair. So Chanel packaging never fails. Of course, it is amazing. So here's the box that this beautiful pair comes in and it is that really nice dirty shoe box. Here is the receipt and of course, every Chanel box and packaging has a beautiful camellia flower on it. I'm going to take that off and let me open this box up so I can show you what I picked up. I am so excited because they are beautiful. And oh my gosh, the packaging is amazing even for shoes. The last time I bought Chanel shoes were when I bought Chanel Espadrilles about a couple of years ago, so I forgot what kind of packaging shoes came in. They come with two separate dust bags for each shoe. To reveal, I picked up these beautiful Chanel mules in the classic beige lambskin with black cap toe. They are, I think they're about eight centimeters in heel height and I absolutely love the little pearl detail here. I'll just get the camera to focus here. This is just so classy. This just looks like quintessentially Chanel, as cliche as it may sound. But these are the shoes that I picked up. These were actually not on my wish list or anything, but I did always want to pick up a pair of Chanel beige clear shoes in the more sort of dressy heel style to go with my beige clear medium large bag which I'm just gonna bring to show you. Okay, so I brought the bag to show you. The bag's in the caviar leather and the shoes are in the lambskin. They're very, very close in color, but the bag is a tad lighter. But because the bag is more on your body and the shoes will be on your feet, I think they're really, really close enough. So although I knew that I wanted a pair of dressy shoes to go with this bag, I really wasn't sure what style I was gonna go for. So I did check out some shoes in the beige clear color with some black with it. And a lot of the shoes, I don't wanna offend anyone, but a lot of Chanel shoes can look a little bit grandma-y. I did consider the slingbacks which I love because they are so comfortable but there was something about those slingback shoes that I just didn't really love and when I saw these a few months ago actually I wasn't really 100% sold on them I never tried them but as soon as I put them on I was blown away they look so nice on they just make your ankles look so nice and slim 
and they just cover the right amount of your foot. I just absolutely fell in love with the fit of these shoes and I don't have the narrowest fit so if I try on shoes and they make my feet look really pretty, I'm sold. So these shoes did that beautifully. They also elongated my legs because of the beige color and because you still see half of your foot and that sort of continues on with your legs. So these were just so nice on, I couldn't pass up on them. Now I'm a true size 38 and I had to go down half a size for these. Because they are open back, you can get away with a half size smaller or half size larger. I did try the 37 as well at David Jones when I went in to check out the shoe floor, but my heel stuck out a little bit, so I wasn't 100% comfortable. And the sales associate actually checked for me which store had the 37 and a half, and she did tell me that Bondi Junction Boutique has one. So I left them, and the next day I went into Bondi and tried them on, and I absolutely loved them, so I picked them up. So on the day that I picked up these beauties, I actually drove back to David Jones in the city because it's kind of on the way home for me to check out a couple of other things as well, but of course, I couldn't resist going back into Chanel to check out what other stuff they might have. Although in one day, I don't think the stock will change. If anything, they would have sold more stuff. But I just wanted to go in to have another look. And that's when I purchased my other pair. So let me get into the second pair. So the second pair that I picked up lies in this beautiful bag. I did say that they're exactly the same style, but this time it came in a smaller bag. And let me get into it so I can show you what color I ended up picking up. And now I am known to buy duplicates of things that I love. So this wasn't a huge surprise for me, but I usually don't buy them on the same day. Anyway, because this one is purchased at David Jones, I know how popular my size is and how quickly things sell out. So although I was really not 100% sure whether it was a good idea or not to actually buy the same pair in a different color. I just didn't want it to sell and if I really wanted them later, I just didn't want these not to be available anymore. So I just picked it up and I just really wanted to have a think about whether I was gonna keep them or not. So when I went back into the David Jones store in the city, I had a look around and they had this color that I didn't see at Bondi store. I know it's ridiculous to buy two of the same shoes in the same day, but I could just think of all different outfits that will go with this one that I wouldn't be able to wear with the beige pair. So I thought before they sell out of my size, let me just grab them and I'll have 30 days to think about them and I can even return them if I you know, didn't wear them. So open up the box. Oh, that just fell. This time, I've just got the normal Chanel sticker, not the classic black sticker. It doesn't really matter. Here is my second pair of shoes. Let me take them out to show you properly. So this is the second pair I picked up within an hour of picking up the beige one. Oh, now that I've just unboxed these, I think I'm in love with this one even more than the beige one. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. So this is in the tweed material. So it's got some blacks and whites and it gives the shoe an overall gray type of look. And it's also got the toe cap. So this black toe cap is actually in leather this time. The other one was in fabric. And the back is exactly the same. You've again got this beautiful pearl detail on the heel and they also have the CC details. So when I saw these, I just wanted to try them. When I tried these on, I could just instantly think of all the different bags that I can match with these. So the beige ones are more on the warm tone because this beige color is more on the yellowy chickpea color side. And this color is very, very cool toned. So that's how I justified the both purchases. So with this pair, I thought they'll be perfect with white bag in summer or even a gray bag. So let me just quickly show you how amazing they look with those colors. So here is my white Gucci Mamon bag in the camera style, in the mini style. If I want it to be a little bit more casual, I think this camera bag will look so nice with these shoes. And here is my grey boy bag and they look so nice together. And I think I'll actually wear this combination quite often because I absolutely love these colours together. So now that I've revealed both pairs to you guys, I really, really want you guys' opinion on what I should do. So the classic pair, 
I really really love and I was looking for a classic pair of heels in the beige color to go with my bag. So this pair is definitely going to be a keeper. These ones, I actually really love the color more, but do you think I should keep both pairs in the exact same style? Or do you guys think that I should maybe wait and, you know, get a pair in this kind of coloring in a slightly different style? Or should I keep them both because they look so nice on my Feet. Let me know what you guys think or if you've got any other suggestions. Oh, the other thing is they were really comfortable when I tried them in the store. I did try to walk around for a good five minutes before I decided to buy the second pair because I really wanted to make sure that they will be wearable. So if any of you guys have a pair of these mules in this heel hide, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know how comfortable they are because that will be my other consideration. If they prove to be a little bit uncomfortable, I'm happy to just keep the one pair. So do let me know if you do own a pair and how you find the comfort on them. So that does it for my Chanel shoe unboxings. If you guys have made an impulse purchase lately, I'd love to know what you got and what happened that made you pull the trigger so quickly. I'd love to know, so leave them in the comments below so I don't feel so alone when it comes to making unexpected purchases. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.